Super Bowl weekend, you know, they pick the best of the best, right? So that's what I'm actually seeing right now. I'm, I'm seeing the best of the best. Yeah, yeah, we are. We are the best of the best. The, the Bible says, right, that, that we're more than conquerors. We got to understand who we are. That, that the problems that were in our path weren't put there to destroy us, but to make us who we are today. And, and, and today, we're the ones that the enemy, every time the enemy sees us get up in the morning, he goes, oh no. You know, and that's how we should be. We should, we, we need to learn who we are so that we can put the fear of God in those that are trying to attack the kingdom of God. Amen. Let, let's stand. Let, I, I think we're just going to have an amazing time today. There's a freedom in the house. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for, Lord, your peace and your grace. I, I thank you for the freedom, Lord God, the, the price that you paid for the freedom that we have today, Lord God. And Lord, right now, Lord God, I look, I, I look across the room and I see the best of the best, Lord God. The ones that are more than conquerors, Lord Jesus. And Lord, right now, Lord God, we're ready to tear it up, Lord God. We love you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God. We're going after you, Lord God, for more in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. You guys ready to worship this morning? I think I'm ready. I'm almost ready. Hey, before we start this morning, this first song is a, is a new song. You guys haven't heard it. You may have heard it. But uh, it's called Sovereign. And uh, it's a lot of words here and there. But the chorus... Is powerful and it just says, You are sovereign, Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. And there's so much truth in that. And I just want, when we, when we get to that point and we start singing that out, I want you guys just to sing it at the top of your lungs. I mean, like nothing else matters, okay? Let's give God everything this morning. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start one more time. <laughs> Spirit of joy in the house. Okay. All right, here we go. That was rehearsal. <laughs> it was. That was practice run. Take two. Here we go. In the midst of my troubles, you will feel your purpose in me. I lift my head from the dirt and I see those eyes. I feel peace in the wind of my surprise. Cause you are sovereign, Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. You are sovereign, Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. And though I walk through the midst of my troubles, you will feel your purpose in me. I lift my head from the dirt and I see those eyes I feel peace in the wind of my surprise And in the valleys, in the shadows Yeah, you have set a table for me Whoa, and though it's hard to see, I will follow I give it to you, I give it to you you are sovereign, Lord, and I bless you. You are 
perfect in nature. You are sovereign, Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. Come on, sing. You are sovereign. You are sovereign, Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. You are sovereign, Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. Sing this right here. So you won't let me go. 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 It's real simple. Let's sing that together. You won't let me go. Whoa. You won't let me go. This I know. Sovereign Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. You are sovereign Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. Just the voices and drums. You are sovereign Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. Whoa, you are sovereign, Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. your goodness in nature. You are goodness in nature. You are goodness in nature. Whoa, you are goodness in nature. You are goodness in nature. Say you are holy in nature. You are holy in nature. You are holy in you are faithful in nature. Come on. You are faithful in nature. You are faithful in nature. You are sovereign, Lord, because you are sovereign, Lord. And I bless you. You are perfect in nature. You are sovereign, Lord. And I bless you. You are perfect in nature. Sovereign Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. Come on, I want to hear you. You are sovereign Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. One more time, loud as you can. You are. Come on, and I. You are. And 
and I one. Come on, you are sovereign Lord. You are sovereign Lord, and I bless you. You are perfect in nature. How many of you guys are free this morning? You sound free, but are you really free? Are you really, really free? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Come on, let's give God some more praise. Here we go. Oh. No, you're good. No, this is real nice. Thank you, thank you.
Come on, a little bit louder. Where the spirit of the Lord is. In every chain, every chain is broken through you, Jesus. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Whoa. Who cares how it started, man? <laughs> I'm free, I'm free, I'm free to dance and sing. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free to shout it out. Come on. I'm free. chain, every chain is broken through you, Jesus. Yeah, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Whoa. Whoa. Last time. Whoa. God is so good. Give God, a, give God a little bit of praise. Come on, come on. Thank you, God. I, it, it would violate my heart to not do this right now. We just sang and said, every chain is broken. Come on. If, if you have cancer in your body, come here right now. If you're battling any kind of cancer in your body, whether it's a, a blood cancer, whether it's a tumor, I, I know what I'm hearing really, really clear right now. Every chain broken. Every chain broken. Come on. Anybody? Just... There's nobody battling cancer right now in, in any way. Because I, I, I know what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that pretty clear. I believe there's a place where every chain's broken. I believe there's a place. You've got it's something terminal, something terminal. I just feel like there's, there's a real clarity right now for chains to be broken. I know that I saw this. I actually, I actually even know who's supposed to anoint these people, but I don't believe God would show me something without purpose or intent. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just strive to make something happen. I actually believe God's moving right now. You have a terminal disease. It might be cancer. It might be something completely different. Is there anybody in the house? This is a moment in time. I believe it's a Kairos moment. I can tell you it might be somebody that's just watching live on the internet, but I actually thought it was somebody in the house. It's hard to anoint somebody on the internet, but, but I know that Matthew chapter 8, Jesus says, I'll come to your house. The servant said, just say the word and my servant would be healed. 
Man, join your hearts with us, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, I know what I'm hearing in my heart. Cancer has to be broken right now. God, I just thank you. Terminal disease just completely eliminated in three lives. I saw it very clearly. God, I thank you. It is a Kairos moment right now, the hand of God just moving. Father, we decree, we declare right now, sickness go, disease go, cancer, you be crushed. God, I just thank you that right now cancer's crushed and people live because of the goodness of God. We have declared your goodness in the house. We've declared your nature. Your nature is always good. And out of your goodness and out of your love, God, I thank you for full redemption and restoration. God, I bless what you're doing right now in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you. I just thank you for healings manifested right now through the blood of Christ. God, I just bless what you're doing. God, I just bless what you're doing right now. God, I just thank you. God, I just thank you. Completely healed. Jesus. God, I thank you. God, I just thank you. I just thank you for manifesting your love, your goodness, and your grace. Join hands with somebody close to you right now. Would you do that real quickly? You can just keep your eyes closed. I guess it's hard to join hands with your eyes closed. You probably have to peek. You join hands with believers. The Bible's real clear. These signs will follow them that believe. I really believe this is something about chains being broken. I felt like I was, I just, I can't get away from that whole deal. I just really believe there's some people that are just holding out. But if you're here in the building, you've joined hands with another believer. If you've got some kind of sickness, any kind at all in your body, you might have something that's just affecting your vision. Felt like I heard that. You might have your pancreas is out of whack and your numbers are crazy, diabetes. You might have something going on in your body right now and you're saying, God, I want to be healed. Squeeze the hand of somebody you're holding. Just squeeze their hand. They're going to know. They're going to pray for you for healing. Just squeeze their hand. Just squeeze it good. Just so they know it wasn't just a pretend thing. They know you mean it. You're squeezing their hand. Say, man, I need healing in my body. See, the Bible says this. These signs will follow them that believe. They'll lay their hands on the sick. Well, you can't hold hands without laying hands. You're, you're holding hands with a believer right now. Would you just release faith in the house right now and pray for those? Somebody squeezed your hand. Just pray for them right now. Just bring it before the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, I just thank you for healings manifesting right now all over the room. God, I know that prof Rick prophesied over the house. Pastor Rick prophesied that we'd have promises and manifestations and people being set free. So, God, we continue to stand in that promise. God, we continue to stand in the light of that and we realize, God, freedom and liberty and healing, manifestations right now being healed. People be healed. Yes. Sickness, leave bodies. Pain, leave the bodies right now. God, I just decree it and declare it, God, and together we are lifting our voices. We have joined our hands, we've joined our hearts, uh, and we lift our voices. We touch heaven and heaven changes earth. And together, God, we agree for complete healing and complete restoration all over this place in Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Man, let's just continue in worship. And I just, there's, there's, there's an atmosphere in the house that's right right now. Let's just worship. Take control Cause I've tried 
tried it I tried it on my own But what I found is I can't make it on my own give you my soul, Lord. I need you to take control. Cause I've tried it. I've tried it on my own, but what I found is I can't make it on my or your circumstance in order to give God praise. So Paul said it like this. I'm going to slow it down. But Paul said it like this in Ephesians 2. He said, you he made alive when you were dead in your trespasses and your sins, in which at one time you walked habitually. You were following the prince of the power of the air. You were under the sway of and the tendency of this world in this present age. You were obedient to and under control of the demon spirit, which still constantly works in the sons of disobedience. He said, I, as well as you, once lived and conducted myself in the passions of my flesh. We were by nature children of God's wrath, heirs of his indignation. But God, so rich is he in his mercy because in order to satisfy the great and intense and wonderful love with which he loved us, even though we were slain by our own shortcomings and trespasses, he made us alive in the fellowship and union with Christ. He gave us the very life of Christ himself, the same new life with which he quickened him. For it is by his favor and his mercy, which we did not deserve, that we've been delivered from judgment and made partakers of his salvation. He raised us up together 
and he made us sit down together with him, given us joint seating with him in the heavenly sphere by virtue of our being in Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one. And he did this that he might clearly demonstrate to the, to the ages to come the immeasurable, limitless, limitless surpassing riches of his free grace and his kindness and goodness of heart towards us through Christ. For it is by free grace that we've been saved through our faith. And this salvation is not of yourselves, it's not of your own doing, not of your own striving, but it is a gift of God. It is not of your works, it's not the fulfillment of the law's demands, lest any man should boast. It's not the result of what anyone could possibly do, so that you can't take any pride or glory for yourself. For we are his workmanship. We are his handiwork, recreated and born anew. Recreated and born anew in Christ. Remember that at one time, we were heathens. We were called uncircumcision by those that called themselves the circumcision. Itself just a mere mark in the human flesh made by human hands. Remember that at that time we were separated, living apart from Christ, having no, having no share in the sacred compacts of the messianic promise. We didn't have any knowledge of or any rights in God's agreements or his covenants. We were without hope. We were without promise. We were without God. But now, in Christ, those who were so far away by his blood have been brought near, for he himself is our peace. He is our bond of unity and harmony. And he made us both Jew and Gentile one body. And he has destroyed and broken down the dividing wall between us. He abolished it in his own crucified flesh that he from the two might make one man, one new quality of humanity, so by making peace. And he designed it so that he could reconcile to himself both Jew and Gentile, united by means of his cross, thereby killing the mutual enmity and putting the feud to an end. So then he came and he preached the glad tidings of peace. He came and preached it to those who are far and to those who are near, that both whether far off or near would now have introduction and access by one Holy Spirit to the Father so that we can approach him. And now, now you're no longer outsiders. You're no longer exiles. You're no longer migrants. You're no longer excluded from the rights of citizens. You have citizenship with God. You are his consecrated people. You are his saints. You belong to the household of God. And you have been built up on the, on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets with Jesus Christ as the chief cornerstone. And in him, in him, the whole structure is bound. It's welded together. It's welded together to grow, to rise, to increase into a holy temple unto the Lord. A sanctuary that's dedicated and consecrated and sacred to the presence of the Lord. In him, you yourselves are being built up in him so that you would form a fixed dwelling place of God through the Spirit.
Come on, say I love you. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. Come on, church, say I love you. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. And we
worship. We worship forever. Last time, just lift your hands and close your eyes. And I love you forever. Say. say you're lovely. You're lovely forever. You're lovely forever. You're lovely forever. Last time as loud as you can, say I love you. Come on. I love you One more time. Love you forever. Love you forever. Love you, forever. Love you Lord. we were worshiping this morning I couldn't help but pull my heart away from communion and what spoke volumes to my heart I heard the Lord say I was broken so you don't have to be I was broken, Amen. so you don't have to be. I don't know if you get that or not, but I was broken, so you don't have to be. There's incredible and incredible communion with God this morning in the house. He was broken so we don't have to be. One more time, Jason. I love you forever. Forever. I love you forever, Lord. I'll put your hand on your heart this morning. Would you do that? I love you forever. Yeah. I love you forever. Oh, just look Jesus right in the eyes. Forever. Can you look him right in the eyes? Say yes. I love, love you, you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Incredible, incredible sweet spirit in the house today. Yeah. Yeah. Father, you're amazing. Father, you're amazing. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a hand of praise in the house. Would you do that? Yeah. I love you forever. You may be seated in the house if you can. Yeah. I'm just going to go through these announcements real quickly. And please pick up a bulletin if you haven't gotten one already. The youth, youth are having their meeting today from 1 to 5. I wanted to, wanted to bring that up, 1 to 5, the youth upstairs in the, in the, uh, in the loft. 
uh, Wednesday night, uh, Building Your Financial Foundation with Jody Tyler. Is Jody in the house? Jody, is, Jody's in the house. He's, she's probably out there in the bookstore somewhere, but she, uh, I'm, incredible, all right? You, you, you want to, uh, oh, 10 days. February 4th, that's right. She's, okay, I'm ahead of myself. Hallelujah. February the 4th, she's going to be getting those classes. Um, Saturday, February the 7th, uh, men's breakfast. Men, give, come on, let's hear a man shout in the house somewhere. Come on, yeah, you like breakfast? Ha, ah, yeah, you like breakfast? I know you do. So uh, we're the fast is over. Hallelujah. But uh, hey, uh, we have to change our, our meeting place. It's going to be uh, at Ryan's restaurant there in Hanover. So, gentlemen, come on out. It's at Brian. Brian, where are you at? Are you here this morning? Glory to God. Um, at uh, what time? Eight o'clock at Ryan's? Is that still the same time? Okay, eight o'clock at Ryan's. So, uh, yeah, there's a wedding here that day. That's why we had to move it. So, glory to God. So, uh, and that's all I've got. Give it up for Pastor Lori. Come on. Now. Excuse me, Pastor Dave. I know you like green. Well, I like Aqua. green, but I also like golden. I don't like this purple mic with my son. So, can I have that mic, please? Not a chance. <laughs> Did y'all get that? <laughs> Welcome to Jersey Sunday. How many jerseys we got out there? All right. I got, I got one. I guess, Ray, you don't even, you clap and you don't even got one on. Mine's I don't know seat. about the rest of them. Mine's in my seat. <laughs> so, wow, it's a good time. Um, I have right here in my hand, my son ran this down to me. If you were in the first service, it was a banging job my husband already did. And he has the first service already done. And I know you're sitting in the second service. But if you would like to have a copy of the CD of the first service, what he's already going to preach, it's here. Amen. Wow. All right. awesome. There you go, sweetie. He's got several of them already done. They're in the bookstore. So, you know, I know sometimes people would like to have the CD. You'd like to listen to it. That's what I like to do. I like to listen to it in my car when I'm driving. So you can put it in your car and uh, just listen to the words. Amazing, amazing message already in the first service. And I know he's getting ready to do it again in the second service. But next Sunday, um, we have got a treat for you. In the second service next Sunday, Larry Randolph will be in the house. Larry is an amazing...